One breaststroke at a time. An art therapy group is helping vets heal from emotional scars, and one piece of artwork is even up for public display. May News 9's Cheryl Glassford has that story. So you're going to take your small brush, white paint. I'm painting what I see and how I feel. Paintbrush in hand, Mike Willis feels at ease. And put some of that into the water now. It helps my panic attacks. The Vietnam War vets' canvases haven't always reflected peace. When I started, I, I did some uh, paintings that uh, were very disturbing. Artistic expressions that came from dark emotions and troubling memories. You had choppers, you had chaos. You've had all those mixed emotions and uh, seeing people hurt. Willis suffers from PTSD and says this art therapy program has changed his life. Crooked trees are acceptable, aren't they? They can socialize with other people and get ex you know, word from other people of what they've experienced. And a lot of times that helps them get through and knowing that person has experienced the same thing. Here, Willis and other veterans work through what he calls the tough stuff. Almost like taking out the garbage. A challenge in itself, and last year Willis found himself taking on another. He was asked if he'd like to paint something for the County Veterans Services Office and completed this work of art. The theme was being patriotic, and I had a hard time dealing with that. I flashed back to when I came home from Vietnam in 1968, the way uh, the vets were treated then. Still, he pushed through. It was like a mission. I had to complete it. Sit back and wipe my tears away and go back at it again. He included the Statue of Liberty, the Washington Monument, the American and POW flags, the Twin Towers, and this soldier on the steps of the Vietnam War Memorial. All the names on the wall that didn't come off. It's not only a tribute to those soldiers, but a symbol for Willis as well. I'm not limited. I can do anything. He hopes his painting will inspire other veterans to pick up a paintbrush. Don't knock it until you try it. The door's there. If you want to open it, open it. In St. Petersburg, Cheryl Glassford, Bay News 9. Willis's painting can be found in the Pinellas County Veterans Services Office on First Avenue North in St. Petersburg.